I love dogs, you love dogs, everyone loves dogs. So, in this video, we're going to be making a bot send specific dog gifs or pictures on command. And this is going to be really fun, so I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. So, right now, as you can see, our command prefix for the bot is an exclamation mark, but since we're making a dog bot, we can change this prefix to dog, but with a space right after it. This is because if a user types in dog space pick, the dog with the space would be the command prefix and pick would be the command. Cool. Now let's make the command pick. So when the user types in dog pick, then our boss should send a random picture of a dog. But how do we get this random picture? Well, we can use an API. So, there's an API called Dog API, and essentially how it works is when you send a request to this URL, the API returns a JSON containing the link to the image of the dog. So, to help us send a request to this API, there's a Python module called Requests. So, we can just do import requests, and we can come down here and make a new command. So this is what we're doing here. We call the API and store the JSON that the API returns. And then we get the link from the JSON that we have. And then we use the ctx.send to send the link to Discord. And then Discord usually automatically shows the image, even if you just send the link of the image. Okay, before I run the program, I don't know if you noticed, but I typed breeds wrong. It's breeds, not beds. Yeah. Okay, then let's run our program now. So now when I type dog pick, we get a dog picture. This is great. What if we made a command like dog play or like dog feed and then our bot would send a gif relating to that action? That would be kind of cool, but how do we code that? Well, to make things easier, I'm going to make a JSON file and I'm going to put all the links that we want the bot to use. And these links are organized based on the actions and then this GIF category just contains a bunch of links of dog GIFs that I personally like. So when a user types dog space GIF, then the bot would select a random link from this category and then send it on Discord. And then if the user types dog play, then a random link from here, and then dog feed, a random link from here, and so on. So how do we code this? Well, what we can do is we can make one single command instead of like four different commands, and then we can have multiple aliases for that command. And based on the name of the alias, we can figure out from which category we, we want to get a GIF link. And then once we get that GIF link, we can send it on Discord. Now let's do the code for this. So we're going to store this JSON file in a Python dictionary so that we can access its contents. So to do that, we import a module called JSON. And then all we need to do is do json.load and then open the file, gifs.json. So we can go ahead and start creating our command. So at bot.command, we're going to set the name of the command to gif, then our aliases is set to a list, feed, play, and sleep. So our first step is getting the alias that the user uses. And to do that, we can look at, at the next guard documentation. So when we go here um, and click on context, we can actually find exactly what we need. 
So invoked width, um, and then useful for finding out which alias called the command. Cool. So all we need to do is do ctx dot invoked width, and then use this alias that we got to access the list of links corresponding to the category. And then we can just choose a random link from this list of links by doing random dot choice. But we need to import random, so we just go here and then do import random. And then now we have the link to the GIF. And now all we need to do is do await ctx dot send. And then our code should be complete. Now we can just test our code and this is going to be fun. Okay, so dog play. Dog feed. Dog play. Dog feed. Dog play. Dog feed. So before you leave, I just want to say one thing. I really enjoyed making this video and if you enjoyed watching it, uh, please make sure you like and subscribe because it really helps my channel out. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!